This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Okay, so what's this first grow test all about? Uh, well, the aim of this is really to set up, uh, we've got the one system here with, that's possible of doing a lot of different methods of growing, and the aim is to really show the difference between the different, three different methods of growing with cheese, and so we've got hand watering, uh, a drip system, and an aeroponic system. Um, so just going to show the difference in the vegetative growth that you can get between them all. So to start with, we've got the hand watering system. Uh, it's basically just a collection tray, four pots, which we'll be filling with soil, and hand watering from uh, a bucket, basically. With the drip system, we'll be filling these pots with cocoa. The uh, drip lines are connected to your pump. You have one stake going into each pot, and then you time your irrigations as and when they're needed watering. Okay. With the aeroponic system, there's no media in the pots at all. Uh, you just have a sprinkler at the top of the pot. That sprinkler is connected directly to the pump and the pump runs 24-7, constantly sprinkling out your, your water onto the root zone. We're using the same uh, seedlings for each, each one, so you should, you know, you're not going to expect wildly different growth on different types of seeds and plants. But mainly it's just to try and keep all the variables the same, so things like nutrient as well. We're going to be using the same nutrient between each system. Okay, so I'm guessing now it's time to set everything up. Can I yeah. help you with that? Of course you can, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay. Now you just need to water them in. Okay. There you go. So you just water them as yeah. if they're a water plant. How much? Probably about a quarter to a half of that jug each. So on to the next. I'm guessing this is the dripper system. Uh, we've got it half set up here. So it's uh, now just a case of attaching the, the drip lines to the delivery pipe, which is connected to the pump. Uh, putting the pots on and then potting them up. So the water we've just used to water this, is that exactly the same as we did with the soil? No, uh, cocoa is inert, basically meaning it contains no nutrient, so whatever water you put through it, you need to add whatever nutrient you want to, that pot to contain right. before you plant your plant out, otherwise there won't be any nutrient value in there. Okay, nice. So this system is the aeroponic system. We've got it half set up at the minute. We've got the, uh, the pump in the reservoir connected up to the, the main delivery system at the bottom of the tray. So now it's just a case of making sure the sprinkler heads are in position in the pots and then connecting those to the delivery system. So with this you screw the spray head through. Attach the line. and then connect that to the delivery tube. Okay. So the water is pumped up through the delivery system, through these tubes, uh, and the spray head just rotates and sprays the water inside the pot oh, onto the bare roots. Here with these, uh, they have net pots, which you put the, the base of the plant, Eventually the roots just grow through these, hang down in the pots and the sprinkler system delivers the water directly to the roots. Okay. So to plant them in, you just simply drop your jiffy into the, the net pot and you need to be particularly careful when you're putting the collar around it, just not to damage the, the seedling, mm. which is the tricky bit. Yeah. So now, Nico, what are these cups on here for? What, what are we using these cups for to protect uh, these? Yeah, they're just essentially like a makeshift humidity dome because uh, they're quite young seedlings. Really, they should have been hardened off a little bit longer, but for the you know, time restrictions of the tests, we're just using these as a little makeshift humidity domes to keep the humidity up. Ah, clever. So, Nico, is this where we leave them now? Is this what we leave them just here like this? Uh, it is, yep. They're, so they're going to remain in these positions for the next six weeks, really, until you guys come back and, and see how much growth there's been on them. And how often are you going to have to water these now? It's slightly different for each one. Um, the soil and the cocoa, they're probably not going to need water in, you know, once every three or four days. The e easiest way to do it is to pick up the pot, feel how heavy it is, until it feels light and it's drunk the water in there, don't water it again. Usually every three or four days-ish but that obviously can change. With the ones in the aeroponic system, uh, usually they'd be planted out with a slightly more developed root system. So to start with, they're going to have to have probably a 15 minute irrigation every day or so. 
Um, and then I just have to keep a close eye on the route system so I can, to know when I can turn it on 24-7. Okay then, well thinking about that, how are you going to keep the test fair then? Well obviously you've got the nutrient tank, um, as long as you, you keep, maintain the nutrient tank, keep a close eye on that to make sure that the nutrient content is even throughout each system and you can be fairly sure they're all getting roughly the same amount of food and it should be as fair as it, as it can be. So just to summarise, how long will it take now? When, when can we come back and look at these? Well, like I say, if you can, you can come back in six weeks, we should have a fairly decent amount of vegetative growth, but you're probably not going to see any flowers on them by then. But if, you, you know, if you're available to come back a few months down the line, then there'll definitely be pepper, peppers and chilies on there. Fabulous. Well, we'll see you in six weeks then. Yes, we will. Thank you very much. And that's it. Looks like we're coming back in six weeks. Great stuff. Do you want a nutrient that matches all the requirements of any plant you choose to grow? Well, let us introduce to you the Aroma Formula. So variable, it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The Aroma Formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. I'm back here at Aquaculture with Nico. Now it's supposed to be summer, but it's absolutely chucking it down. It's been about eight weeks since we transplanted our seedlings, so let's see how they're getting on. Hi Nico. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see how our seedlings have been getting on. Can you just give us a quick recap on what we were aiming to achieve here? Yeah, we're just uh, basically looking to see the difference between uh, different methods of growing. So we've got the hand water in soil system, got a cocoa drip system and the aeroponic system and it was just to see which would give us the quickest uh, vegetative growth overall. So before we look at our chilli plants, did you notice any differences between the systems in the early stage of growth? Uh, yeah, quite a significant difference really. Um, the soil and the cocoa plants took off a lot quicker and um, they're a lot quicker to establish in the pots, particularly the soil. Um, as soon as the root system was established in the aeroponics though, they quickly caught up and their growth became a lot a lot quicker than the, the other two. Why was that? Mainly due to the availability of the oxygen in the aeroponic system. You know, they're just dangling in air, there's a lot of available oxygen, it just helps with the uptake of nutrients. So we can clearly see a difference in the size of these plants. Can we just point out which is which grow method here? Okay, so on the right here, we've got the hand-watered pots uh, in soil. In the middle, we have the cocoa pots on the drip system. And on the far left over there, we have the aeroponic system. So we can see the aeroponics is a lot better growth and not so much from the other two. Are these the results you expected? Uh, yeah, I mean, when the aeroponics had the established root system, it always expects a lot quicker growth from that, that type of system. Um, if you can see here, the actual height difference between the, the soil and the cocoa is not massive. Um, However, there is a lot more uniformity between the cocoa plants. Uh, they're all a lot more even sized than the soil plants, which is always a benefit in the system. So what I don't understand is, I can see the chilli plants in the soil and the cocoa, you know, I understand how they grow from the root system, but how is it working in the aeroponics? What's going on here? How, how is that a growth medium? Well, there is no media in the aeroponics. Uh, the roots literally just hang in mid-air, being sprinkled into. Um, one thing is it doesn't give the plant as much support as you would get with cocoa and soil, so when you do get a larger plant that's a lot more top heavy, you will need to support it up a lot more. Um, but that sacrifice, you know, you get a lot quicker uh, nutrient uptake because of the more available oxygen. Can we have a look at that? Of course, yeah. So there's your root oh, system wow. there. Obviously, as the plant gets larger, the root system will just get larger and larger. So, we can see the aeroponic system is the quickest way of growing from this test. But what can the viewers at home take from that? Well, basically, if, uh, you know, if time is a concern, if you've only got a short period of time to, to get a crop in, then aeroponics would be the obvious choice. You get a lot quicker vegetative growth, probably save yourself a couple of weeks over your whole crop. Mm. And if you're only ever looking to get three or four crop cycles in per year, you could possibly get another one in with all the, the time cumulatively saved. So there you have it. 
Eight weeks ago, we set out to show the difference in vegetative growth between three methods of growing. It's quite clear to see that growing your plants aeroponically will encourage quicker vegetative growth. So for a little bit more money and no extra hassle, you may actually be able to fit in an extra growth cycle per year for the time you save. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine.